In this next video, I share with you my adventures with photography and ballet as an adult dancer. And at the end, I'm gonna give you some tips of how you can maximize your own experiences doing ballet photography as an adult dancer. So make sure you don't miss it. about adult ballet for adult ballet dancers beginner returning all of you so if this is something that you enjoy please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and make sure to share this content with others let's talk about ballet photography yay super exciting i love photo shoots photo shoots are always fun as an adult dancer the current state of technology you have so many opportunities to either take photos of other adult dancers, take photos of yourself, take photos with your friends, and post them anywhere you want. One of the ways you can be a ballet model is by linking with local photography groups who are always searching for models for different types of shoots. For example, recently I did a photo shoot which a lot of the photos that you see in this course are from that photo shoot with a local group. They asked me to um, be their model for a group photo shoot where they wanted um, ballet type pictures. So we did three locations right here in Columbus, Georgia, gorgeous locations. And basically I showed up, we stayed for about an hour in each location did a bunch of different poses so I as I was posing they were all taking pictures from different angles and usually in these cases you get the photographers will share all of the pictures with you so you have all these amazing pictures to share another thing that I often do is uh, get together with um, ballet student or friend and we will go somewhere or sometimes we'll even do it right here at my loft and we will make sure you know we get all the costumes that we want and do our makeup and hair and we will spend a couple of hours just shooting each other or taking pictures together many photographers that are just starting out individuals will also be happy to take pictures of you and share them with you for their portfolio so if you are intimidated by being a ballet photography model just think about it like this when you are posing you are usually holding a pose so it's not as hard as being photographed actually dancing and moving so you can practice in front of the mirror make sure that you look good and some amazing pictures can come out of that and then you can also share them with the community instagram is great for adult ballet students. Many people share their pictures there and the creativity is amazing and it's also an inspiration to others. So if this resonates with you, make sure you try it. Also, you can take your own pictures. For example, you can set your iPhone on a tripod and then you can set the delay to 10 seconds. That gives you plenty of time to get go and get in your pose and if you set the camera to the way that you can actually see it you will see exactly what your picture is going to look like it takes a little bit of practice and trial and error but eventually you'll be able to get some amazing pictures if you really want to share your pictures with the world there is an amazing website called unsplash.com on unsplash Photographers share their pictures for free with pretty much the world. You don't get paid for it, but your name does appear in the photo. If you submit pictures to Unsplash, 
make sure they're of high resolution and high quality, have an interesting or clear background. They, they don't take all the pictures that you send, they're selective. So make sure that your picture really, really looks good and is professional and interesting. Many pictures submitted to Unsplash.com have actually been used for national level advertisements by very big companies. So who knows, you might submit a picture and end up in a billboard somewhere in the world. How awesome is that? I've been submitting pictures to Unsplash Ballet and other type pictures I take for about six months and so far I have gotten about 12,000 downloads of my photos. I don't know where they end up, but either way, I think it's a great way to share. Just always make sure if you do use a picture from somebody else that you give them credit. And if you're great with the camera, why not take pictures of other ballet dancers at work? A lot of them would be super excited to have a fellow dancer that understands how ballet works take pictures of them. It could even be something that you could make money with. So I hope you have a lot of adventures with ballet photography and enjoy it. If you take some great photos, please share them in the comments. I would love to see them. If you are on Instagram, you can see a lot of my photos there. My Instagram is at transcendnormal. And also, if you tag at Trans and Normal in your pictures, they will show up on my feed. So please do that if this video inspired you to take some great adult ballet pictures. Like I said, I would love to see them. Hey there, if you enjoyed this type of video, please make sure to share it with other people that would also enjoy it to help grow the community. And also give this video a like, that helps me a lot and also interact with it, post a comment, and let me know what you thought. Thank you.